Hey, if you're here, you probably want to customize your lifeguard. Let's start with the requirements. You're going to need about $110,000. That's for sure. You're also going to need to purchase a lifeguard or have a friend that owns one. Um, purchase price somewhere upwards of $800,000. $800, I can't guarantee you that. Right now, we're already up to nearly a million dollars. You're going to need an MOC or an Avenger with a vehicle workshop inside. I don't even know how much I'm taxing you already. But let's just say that you're going to end up spending a lot more money than necessary just to change some rims and not be able to change the color on this vehicle. So please beware. You can't change the color of the lifeguard. Put neons on it. Um, you can't sell it after you get it. So those are some things to watch out for. I mean, this is the one I customized. There's not much customization to do for it. I put some xenon lights on it. I lowered it, changed the rims. I put custom wheels on it, bulletproof tires. I put a custom license plate on it, but that's really just about it. Now, most times I've seen people driving around in one of these, it's been with merged F1 plates, not F1 plates. <laughs> F1 wheels, but yeah, this is this is this is this is not gonna get you F1 wheels on this vehicle. That's gonna be a car to car merge, and you can find that elsewhere. All right, this is just showing you how to um, customize the lifeguard, albeit very, very, very basic customization. It's not it's not it's, it's not as basic as it originally was. Don't hit me. We're gonna have a problem if any of you hit me. Okay, so first thing you're gonna need to do is have a lifeguard as in the vehicle that you purchase off of war stock you know eight hundred thousand dollars or something i believe uh... let's see i should have done another direction there we go so you get the lifeguard right here if you already have one you don't need to do this but you just buy it you put it in whatever garage but i already have one so that's going to be unnecessary but um... first you need to do you to get a lifeguard it's gonna get delivered to your garage and you're gonna call it using the mechanic of course and it's gonna bring you over here second thing you're gonna to need to do is be in the beach area now I can't tell you exactly where to go because well the first time I did this I didn't pinpoint the exact location but I essentially just drove along this strip down here tried my best to not roll people over because I didn't want to deal with the police but there they are you can see them already so you just drive a lifeguard around this strip or what I'm going to do is drive over here and mark this area on the map so that you can do this much easier. Um, you drive your lifeguard that you just purchased around here. He ran into my vehicle. You drive a lifeguard that you just purchased around here and they're going to spawn right about here. And you can just pick them up and you're going to take them to Los Santos Customs. Now the first time I came here there was some dude pulling out of a lifeguard right here if you come across that scenario you can also like stop him in the middle of his um commute to wherever he's going and just steal it but um if you don't want to be aggressive and steal someone's vehicle then you can pull up right here and you're just gonna steal this one right here you know you might have to break in a window but hot wire the vehicle and get your way on over to the santos customs um the closest one is probably this over here, but I'm just not interested in going down to that part. Of it. Please note that this isn't the final step though, because you're not going to be able to fully customize the lifeguard inside Los Santos Customs. Okay, so now that you've arrived to Los Santos Customs, you're just going to drive the lifeguard in, just like this. Here for the magic touch. And you're gonna repair it if you damaged it like me and then you're gonna add a tracker and full coverage on it so that if your vehicle gets destroyed you can call it back mind you this costs a hundred and eight thousand dollars but after you absolutely dent your wallet with a hundred and eight thousand dollars for insurance you're going to leave Los Santos customs and you're going to go to your interaction menu and you can call any vehicle workshop mobile vehicle workshop that is you can call your MOC, you can call your Avenger, I have my Avenger up there, but just for example, I'm also going to call my MOC. Oh, I forgot you can't do that. Okay, I'm going to do this the lazy way, we're going on to the Avenger people. So you go up to the back of the Avenger, you press right D-pad, and there you go. You can do everything here, you can add armor, you can put brakes on it, you can engine upgrade, horn, lights. Now mind you, you can't do neons, they don't show up at all. Like, 
you can't see them. So that's a thing. You also can't change the color of the vehicle. You can't even put a crew emblem on, even though it gives you the option. It's not visible. Um, so that's not an option. But otherwise, you can essentially do just about everything with this vehicle. Not really. It, of, of course, there are no planned um, planned customizations for this, but hey. And I mean, as far as lifeguards go, most times I've seen people in lifeguards, it's because they did a vehicle merge with F1 wheels or something of that sort. And I mean, if that's what you're into, this step shouldn't be necessary. You should just be able to merge the one that you have out of your garage, but hey. Uh, if you want to make you look a little bit different engine upgrade and stuff, this is totally an option. So yeah, that's about it. Of course I didn't customize mine because, well, I... Oh no. My game froze. Of course I didn't customize mine because, well, I dented my wallet already and customizing another one, in which case I'm going to show you this. And it's going to be in your garage just like your regular one. Now, what garage it goes to really just depends because my original lifeguard was in my um, my office garage 3 right here. But it just went to the nearest empty garage, which was this right here. And, well, this is the first one and this is the one I just got. But it's called the first one. I'm going to have to sell that other one. Actually, I can't sell that. I totally forgot. You cannot sell it. Um, you can't sell vehicles. You can only sell vehicles that are worth up to $50,000 is what they said. So, um... That won't be possible, but I, I did what I could with the car, as you can see. I lowered it, I did engine upgrades, I put white rims on it, and this is just about it. It's... I don't think I'm going to see much people driving around in these, you know? But, um... It's a lifeguard, man. And if you ever had dreams of customizing a lifeguard, then this is... Well, it's your fantasy there, man. You live it. <laughs>